ladies and gentlemen. This is Maurice Dwayne Smith of Nuclear Popcorn. And I just want to thank these incredible ladies that have come here today. All of them are stars in their own right. I, I seriously want to thank my guest hostess, who's my mostess, is <laughs> Leah Bergman. Hi. She's also writing a book, and she's acting. You've seen her in movies and stuff. And this is Mrs. Catherine Pacino. Yes. And you've seen her in movies. You've also seen her stepson, Al Pacino. Yes. And I just want to tell him that you want to introduce him to your little friend, that would be me. Yes. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> that would be me. But by the way, it's Catherine Coven Pacino. So in case people want to look me up on um, IMDb. Very cool. Okay. We'll so. make sure that they find you. And yes. speaking of finding, we have this fantastic woman here, Dr. Ellen Madani. 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 Okay. And she's of the win. Uh, we Media in Academy. Okay, <laughs> that's hard for people. World Cinema Academy. Mm -hmm. World Cinema Academy. But the reason why I kind of messed up in it is because you changed the name of your school, right? No, no. It's a, we have a festival that is called WIND International Film Festival. W-I-N-D mm -hmm. International Film Festival. And we had like a, a beauty pageant for beautiful people, inner beautiful people, mm -hmm. to showcase their brain. But the win media. So it was confusing for them. Okay, am I having pageant? Am I having that? Am I doing this, that, that? So she's doing a lot of things. To, lot of things. to bring it everything under one umbrella, that big umbrella is now World Cinema Academy. There we go. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so but before we get there, because you've got so many things happening, it's unbelievable, because you two are like fire plugs exploding. Okay. So, and I'm just going to sit back, popcorn eat my popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that's right, there you go. I'm going to eat my popcorn and, and, and just kind of guide it. But before we get to the mad popcorn bursting, <laughs> let's go with the butter on the corn. And this is Miss Leah Bergman. Thank I'm the butter. You are the butter. <laughs> Hot buttered, <laughs> hot buttered soul, mind you. Hot buttered. Oh, Popcorn is nothing without butter, right? Exactly. <laughs> and that's hot why cheese. she's here. Hot cheese. Tell, tell everybody what's happening with you, because she's a journalist in her own right and also mm -hmm. fantastic writer and fantastic person as well. Thank you. Thank you for coming again. Thank you. I've been taking a little hiatus because I'm working on a novel right now. And um, I know I was telling you before we started filming that the, the crust of it is women and and how we support each other and and bring, lift each other up in the ways that that goes in and out of our relationships because I think too many times that we as women we compete against each other we um, bad mouth each other mm. and and it's actually a fictional book but I want it to show how as women that we can through the in and outs of our relationships lift each other up and help each other and I actually started writing it as a love story, mm -hmm. but as I started writing it, it just, it, before I started writing, I had, you, you think about these things if you've ever written a novel for a, a very long time. And, but when I started writing, it just came out like that. And so um, that's what I'm working on right at the minute. Of course, I'm still doing my journalistic endeavors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. So, but writing it takes a lot of um, your brain power, so, and you need a lot, you need some time of, Isolation, I don't, yes. or hiatus, percolation. Oh, you got to You got to take. Oh, you got to get away from it to come back mm -hmm. with a new perspective. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm finding out because I'm doing a couple of books myself. So what are your books about? My books. It's going to be about my life, my life story, and also about adoption because I was adopted uh, in, at birth. Mm -hmm. I never had to do the. Uh, thank God the foster system at all mm. and yet I work sometime with foster kids because that is my way of you know like giving back mm. and um, and the other one is going to be about cancer mm. you know so cool. do you have cancer no I, I, I don't but I have had uh, friends including my own mother that died from it Oh, sorry. So, we just lost uh, our board, one of our board. I was reading art that. and culture, oh. dear Angel Smith had mm. uh, in a sudden cancer, and uh, I couldn't breathe for two days, really, honestly. After my mom died, it was the most crying I, I, I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was too humble 
mm. to be on earth, I can say. Sorry. Uh, I didn't know who she is the first time she came and put on, uh, invited me on a stage and uh, she gave us the honorary show of mm. the humanity from the Commissioner of Art and Culture and said, I never, I never expected, you know, sometimes mm. you're trying to achieve a, an award, but somebody giving it from their heart. Mm. And uh, she always was coming and hugging. I have some posts of her on mm. the social media. I think that, she was that, so young and beautiful. I think that so that, that, has, I, that has hurt yes. a lot of people. So what is your take on the book? Like, what is your, um, uh, what perspective are you bringing in this? Well, I, I, I'm I'm bring, I'm interviewing some people, and I'm going to, um, you know, just show the different uh, perspectives on you know how people deal with it mm. and um, how they deal with it, um, um, how they deal with their cancer and what they do for their cancer. And there's different things out there right now. So mm -hmm. that's all I could say about it right now. So. Ah. <laughs> And what you know are you, how that is, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> what are you hoping people get out of out of the book you're writing? Uh, well, the cancer book. Yeah. I I hope that um, they just, if God forbid, they do get cancer mm -hmm. or somebody, a loved one gets cancer, that they it will definitely help them emotionally and physically, and you know, and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully cure. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. My father died of cancer. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, pretty well. I think Strangely sad. enough, I still dream about him. It's been 11 years. Wow. Well, you That's know when you crazy, dream about, it? no, it's not. Because when we dream about our loved ones, and I get this from my mom and my dad, mm -hmm. it means that they, they are on, on the other side, but they're letting you know that they're mm -hmm. around you. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. It's pretty wild. And yeah. I, I believe in life after death. Oh, me too. We go to another dimension and... You know, I hope there was a channel we could connect with them, you know, and get advice. Still, I need my mom, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, yes. need, I need so good but, friends. But speaking of connecting to another channel, <laughs> connect us to what's happening, because you got a lot of stuff happening. You got a lot of movies coming out. Well, I, I do have heavy metal coming out. Well, I think that's already out, and it's on Amazon and Netflix, and it um, uh, broke open around the world, you know, the UK, New Zealand, and around. Yeah, I like um, that word, broke open. <laughs> it's, it's like premiered, there's, been, a, there's been an outbreak of that movie. <laughs> Give us like a little and synopsis I, of that movie. I played, um, I played a mom, and it's about, it's a horror genre, mm. but it teaches a lesson. You know, I'm with my kids, and, um, they're playing rock and roll, and this rock and roll devil comes in. Mm -hmm. They were told not to play that while mm -hmm. I was out. Didn't listen and, hard. No, they didn't listen. So I'm going to leave the rest up to that. But um, I had the starring <laughs> role. I played the mom. Yeah, I, I just started chuckling because I, I, I started thinking about Al in that movie saying, look at you now, man, look at you. I told you, man, I told you, but you wouldn't listen to <laughs> Remember that scene? Yeah. You know, it's kind of <laughs> But that's and, just me. But now, speaking of that, can't let you come on without telling us what Al's doing. Because you okay. told me something. Al, um, I think it's, I'm not sure whether uh, he's still filming it or it's in post-production right now, but he's doing The, um, the Irishman yeah, uh, back in, uh, um, in New York. Dinero's and he's working it? with De Niro. Yeah. He's working with uh, Martin Scorsese. Wow. Uh, so it's going to be a good film. Cool. A really, really cool film. <laughs> and now, since you mentioned Martin, I find out that you're kind of working with Martin, Scors Scorsese, Scorsese, and uh, the uh, big, big guy, the big, Steven right, Steven Spielberg. Sometimes my mind goes blank, <laughs> but not when I want it to. But, you know, so tell us a little bit about that and also take us into the fabulous happenings of your uh, academy and also your film festival. Uh, yes, uh, these two directors are two of my uh, great, great mentors right now, and uh, I had a dream to connect with them since uh, I was watching their film like many years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, especially the, the movie 2000 and uh, the movie uh, War Horse by Steven Spielberg mm -hmm. really influenced me because uh, I'm mainly making films against war, and against human trafficking, against uh, bullying people. I'm mainly more in socialized, uh, kind of like social awareness filmmaker, director, mm -hmm. producer. So, um, yeah, and uh, I'm being um, 
kind of like under mentorship of them because we are going to have the World Cinema Academy. We need their mentorship, so I'm learning through them the, the tricks of to be survived in the Hollywood and in the film industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, our school is not like other schools, like uh, being in a school for years and years, and after that, coming, okay, where I'm gonna go? Where I'm gonna go? There is nothing for you, like it mm -hmm. happened to us. So we created this school from our heart, and we brainwash each other brain and kind of things, and then... Brainwash. Brainwash. Indoctrinate them. Exactly. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. No, you do that. Yes, you're going to do that. Behaved. So I came on the board and said that, OK, fighting is enough. Instead of hating or backstabbing, let's be together. So I founded the World Cinema Academy as an umbrella to bring all the themes under this camp umbrella. We distribute them through our red card events and networking, we give the opportunity to many filmmakers come on the board instead of challenging. They say, hey, this is me, okay. You know, it's like a painting. You can't say this painting is better than that painting. You have to watch all of the painting and say, okay, yes. I like this one. This film industry is like that. You have to bring in and show it. So we decided to show a uh, maybe trailer of the all filmmakers coming to our World Cinema Academy, give opportunity for all around the world to see what is the film going to be about. And distributor are going to be there on the board oh, and wow. come in and then say, oh, okay, I want this one. So fundraisers and um, investors, sale agents are going to be oh, there. Wow. So this is our goal. It's not a school to school to teach and then go in and know, okay, what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. We teach you in intensive classes, a duration, and very less money. Mm -hmm. and then With a goal of actually yes, exactly. getting into Promote the business. Promote you really on the, in, uh, in the film industry. Mm -hmm. And also through the WIND International Film Festival. Uh, we give them opportunity to receive some awards mm -hmm. uh, based on their works and then uh, they can have some kind of recognition for the board, hey, this is me. Oh, wow. So we, we try not to make them disappointed. That is our goal. We don't want to just award. Ex exactly. We don't want to just award the biggest, the biggest people. Mm -hmm. We try to make a balance. Mm -hmm. And it is why um, my dear Kobin Pacino is on board, because mm. she is a great uh, celebrity connector. Mm. And she is my dear celebrity. And our filmmakers come in because of her. Who wow. doesn't want to be with the stepmother of Pacino? That, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, plus, listen to this laugh. She has the best laugh yes, ever. Yes, great heart. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Don't want to lose, but, her. Don't want to lose but, her at all. But speaking all. of great heart, you're also doing this for uh, humanitarian reasons. Exactly. So um, I'm repeating again, uh, everybody losing their love for something. I lost my mom, and mm. I was the only child of the family, medical doctor family. I was supposed to be princess and very spoiled, but this didn't change. And uh, my mom always was telling me, at home, don't rely on the wealth, on the things that you are right now. One day you may lose it, and it happened. The oh, bomb wow. came, and my mother was a gynecologist in the clinic. Uh, my mom was died, killed, and like. Oh my uh, God! I'm sorry to hear that. It yes. was warm. And, uh, I was in the dormitory. It was five days before my birthday celebration. Oh my God. And I was in the red dress. Mm. Five a.m. They knock on the dormitory. We want El home to come to the city because my mom was in another city. I said. No, it's my birthday. Everybody can come. I don't want to come right mm. now in my other city. And they forced me to go. Mm. I went with the red dress. I saw all the fire around the home mm. and the police officers, everything. Wow. Y you, don't, you don't know how I... Devastated. It's, no, it's more than that. You, know, it's, mm. you can't believe in it. And then after that, I couldn't believe my mom has died. I came with the same red dress. So it was um, denial. Denial. Yes. Still, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing my mom all many days, many nights, and mm. the same. So I want to give the opportunity to my mom, actually, that is no more. So I am like her voice right now for community, mm -hmm. but I can't see the blood. It is why I didn't approach to be a doctor. I approached to be a doctor in linguistic, and uh, if God help me, this year I'm going to get my second PhD. Cool. In producing, directing, I am great. Working That's on great. That's great. Very hard. So I'm, people know me. I'm, I'm not sleeping more than maybe. And two, what are you hours. hoping? What message are you hoping to uh, bring? This time, producing, directing. Mm -hmm. This time, so I'm really pushing myself because I have to start from myself as a role model. 
in order to motivate others. So we want to be true like you. And I love your story, actually. We are empowering women. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. my other goal is that we want to give opportunity to unheard voices from different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it is called the name of the Wind International Film Festival. Wind women are inspiration, we inspire them. And in uniting the nation together, mm -hmm. and the diversity, we want to bring all diversity, like a beautiful flowers in the mm -hmm. garden, and then be friends. Let's more happen, more friendship, more business, more tourists coming to USA, more people are gonna like USA coming back to their country, you know? It's yes. kind of like, it's good yes. for every, every part of it. Mm -hmm. It is why I'm dealing with the humanitarian organization, peace organization, diplomacy organization, and we are gonna have a, like a, a world uh, diplomacy, world peace and diplomacy organization from India joined us, he's one mm -hmm. of our board. They are on our board and many, many other organizations. I'm Quick supporting, question. I'm getting support. Quick question. Now, concerning your uh, humanitarian ventures, yeah. you did mention that you would like to do something like a joint type of deal with uh, Amora? Exactly. I um, approached so this is your time Princess to to Maria Amor, and she's doing great things. Uh, she's a woman. She's a very great role model. I said, you are a great role model for the world. Uh, if you Very would like, person. if you would like, you come to our awarding show. You can create a better things. And Maria talked to me, mm, and cool. uh, Maria is a person. I told her that uh, Maria, you are uh, helping people, feeding people, poor people. Mm -hmm. You are feeding the body of the people. We are not uh, against each other. We are challenging for the same goal, mm -hmm. and we are helping soul of the people mm -hmm. uh, through the World Cinema Academy. We are feeding the soul, and we are com we are like a combining, like a magnet together. And she agreed, and well, uh, we are well. having the for sure, Ma yeah. Princess Maria. Thanks, Princess Maria, for the good things you are doing for the world and everybody. You know, we need everybody come and say what they are doing mm -hmm. and join together. You see. They are, you are coming here on a specific day, let the other people know what you do, you are becoming a strong, and then all of us coming to another um, organization, a world show, they are gonna be a strong. So it's not okay, not go, let's go, actually, let's go, it's better. Don't listen to the people saying that not to go, mm -hmm. because they don't want you to grow. Exactly, exactly. Right. Talking about growing, what is this that you have here? The, are you working on a, a new film? This or? is um, Alan's, uh, Alan's <laughs> film, Phoenix <laughs> Women. Phoenix yeah. Women and uh, Donnelly uh, Heisling is in it. Uh, Mel, Mel Novak. Uh, here are all Akiya the... Uh, Young, uh, all Richard you. Tyson. Uh, a, a couple of these people I've known for a long Jamie, time. Jamie Rooney. Uh, you tell who is Jamie Rooney. <laughs> yes. Uh, Walt Disney. Funny. Yes. Very uh, funny Paramount funny. is going to be on the board. Very uh, so some good people from Paramount approach us, some people from Walt Disney. We love to have this because uh, we have a celebrity per bird, parrot, and uh, <laughs> I believe that the Jimmy parrot? is going to be great for that <laughs> because then the parrot is attacked in. <laughs> Uh, my writer called uh, her uh, Jezebella, Jezebella, but her, she called her, but her called herself uh, Lucky Madani. My name is Elham Madani, she called Lucky Madani, Queen of Persia or Miss Golden Global. She <laughs> said, light camera action, then she sing, and then she say, hey, what are you doing? Let's work together. She talk a lot. And we need a very great uh, voiceover. And um, Jimmy Rooney also is going to be one of our actors mm -hmm. and uh, one of the voiceover coach from Walt Disney to the World Cinema Academy. Now let's talk Here. about this too. A lot of people don't know, okay, you're doing this festival, but you've been making movies for a while. You've done over 67 films. Uh, yeah, and I'm always, almost in the business uh, 30 years. I'm yeah. retired now. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> but what, what I was shocked, not. I mean, I wasn't surprised, but I saw that you've won quite a few awards, and I see some of them are films based on peace and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm wondering, has your upbringing, because um, you're from Iran, right? So you must have seen some really, because you spoke about your mom. So do some of your films, or, or all of them, that you've done by yourself, a reflection of what you experienced as a child? Um, I never wanted to be a director. No. I hated to be producer. <laughs> From childhood, I wanted to be a singer. Then wow. I had a, I practiced on my vocal voice, mm. and then I won many, many, many in international and national voice. 
uh, as a best singer because the uh, revolution they could not sing they had to go to reciting the holy quran and then i love to be on the top always like to the to the top by jennifer yeah, yeah. so and then uh, after i lost my mom then they wanted me to be a medical doctor right, right. so i said i can't see the blood i can't see they said you are going to use to it i said no i can't so i didn't accept their advice otherwise i might be like a millionaire millionaire i think so i could be one of the best surgeons i think in the cosmetic perhaps that they like mm -hmm. but i chose to be a film director literally mm -hmm. because I could direct people to the right way, and especially I wanted to defend women mm -hmm. not to be trapped by, sorry, some bad, mm -hmm. bad idea, bad men, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I try to help many young models, especially female, and now they are like celebrities, especially in Canada, because I'm Canadian. Mm -hmm. um, Persian oh, I didn't know that. I'm Persian Canadian. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. great. All the countries. So is there gonna be a a uh, Bollywood connection? Oh yeah, with Bollywood this? is number one. If I want to make a contest, because I love contests. Dancing, so there will there be dancing. Uh, <laughs> Bollywood is number one country that is supporting us. We have uh, we have the uh, Rami Shoklan, uh, Vimal Kumar, mm -hmm. Vimal Kumar, very 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 strong producer, very um, popular producer of the celebrities. You know, celebrities did not born <laughs> celebrity from the birth. It is directors, hard it is work, mentors to teach them, they yes. work on themselves, and then there is a kind of little bit, bit right time, right chance also involved. Mm -hmm. So we have always appreciated those teachers and mentors and directors. So mm -hmm. always I go back to the big people, like my, I said, Steven Spielberg, I said, I never forget. I could say, oh, okay, forget about that, this is me. It's not right, you know. So anyhow, uh, Bollywood is our first country land, I can say, because they try to they make World Cinema Academy to establish over there and bring students. Nepal joined, uh, Abu Dhabi joined, uh, and um, USA also is number two, mm. I can say. But we are hoping Germany, France, especially France, or many countries that are the center of the art join us because World Cinema Academy is not only about the film, it's about costume too, it's about makeup artists too. Why? Because we need the costume. Mm -hmm. So we need designer come on the board, say, okay, we have this custom for the Phoenix Woman. Phoenix Woman is about the uh, powerful lady, not from the beginning, is about a coward lady, and she, uh, they kill her almost in the fire. Yeah. It's kind of like my story too. I was shy, yeah. still I'm, you mm -hmm. know, so shy. Very shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the camera, I'm not shy, but sometimes I'm shy, yeah. So uh, it is why I love camera, because camera take my shyness away from me. And then uh, this Phoenix woman uh, is a coward, is changing, the character's uh, psychology change because uh, they kill her, and because of her deep mm. faith, and love to her husband or to her beloved yeah. and to save the people in the um, um, being hunted by them, being uh, kidnapped by the bad people. She get back to the world, but like a symbolic birth. Mm. She raised from the dust, she raised from the fire, and she get the wing. Mm. It's all of them are symbolic to empower women and then she uh, uh, she saved the world from the slavery. Very cool. Like so. a phoenix. That is called cool. Phoenix because in our, our belief, Phoenix is the 30 uh, birds together empowering each other. Mm. It's fine, it's fine. That's now, so, that's quick it. question. Now, works such as what Leah Bergman is working on now, would that be something that could be s submitted to the festival? Yeah, people need to submit because if you don't submit officially, we cannot have you officially on the board <laughs> or on the red carpet event or the networking event. So you need to go to W www.wind, W-I-N-D, like a windy day, windinternationalfilmfestival.com. On the first page, click how to submit, and you can see like over 18, 90 category, oh, even cool. for editor, best voiceover, <laughs> best dance, best dancer, best uh, cinematographer. We have very few people that consider cinematography as an art that is very, very important. We need cinematographer knows and have the courage to submit their works, especially photographers, media, mm. like you know, we have 100 Hollywood stars mm. event yeah. as well. Mm. The goal of 100 Hollywood stars is that 
to make hundreds of the new people to stars. You know, mm -hmm. let me say something. our charity is about another charity is hundred Hollywood stars. We have a charity to hundred uh, orphans and Very from good. foster people. Uh, we bring them and feel make them feel like they are the queen and king of at least that night, and let the other people know what they do. Give them the power to do something for the world for their future. So we have a lot of great ideas. Just I need the good people, the sponsors, vendors, anything. Come and help this organization. Go there to you the heard it. Level. There you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to run out of time without first of all telling you guys that last festival she had uh, award show was unbelievable. I met people that blew my mind, and the films that you had and the people in it, I was like, wow, this is pretty serious. But. Um, you have to come and see for yourself, but we're running out of time. Tell people how to find you real quick. Tell people how to find you, how and, people how uh, to reach remember you. Remember, our awarding show is going to be um, don't have much international time. 9 to 11th of uh, uh, November need to be in Hollywood. They have to apply and send us the email, wind, W-I-N-D, I-N-F-F at gmail.com. You can uh, find me on Instagram, Elham Madani Producer, or World Cinema Academy on Instagram. Send on message. And this beautiful lady, and this beautiful lady, and this handsome man are Thank on you the so board. much. Thank you. Yeah. How can they find you, Mrs. Pacino? Uh, find me on Facebook, Catherine, K A T H E R I N, and then Coven, which is my maiden name, K O V I N Pacino, P A C I N O, on Facebook. Boom. And how can we find you, incredible one? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Leah Bergman, just my name. L E A H B E R G M A N. B E R G M A N. Yes. There you go. This has been a great show. I wanted to get these incredible women here because they are, as I, I can only say it one way, they're bursting the popcorn. <laughs> 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 and, you know, we got the hot butter soul over here to soothe it. Make it, make it also, <laughs> can I say something really, really sure, quick? Sure. Okay, we're having the Silver Spur Awards on September 21st, which is on a Friday. Um, at, um, uh, please put it on your calendar. Go on realcowboys.org. That's R E E L, realcowboys.org, like the movie Real. And we have the Silver Spur Awards. We have, uh, oh my God, uh, Darby Hitton, Stephen Connor, Sam Elliott's going to be there. Patrick Wayne, who is John Wayne's son. Mm. Robert Carradine, Billy Zane, mm. and um, um, Paul Servino is going to be there. Very cool. Get autographs. There's going to be a red carpet. And uh, so, and which date is that again? Um, it's sep Friday, September 21st at 5:30 p.m., and it's going to be at the Sportsman's Lodge in Studio City. Uh, so look it up on Facebook, RealCowboys.org, Silver Spur Awards. There you have it. Thank you. Bye. Nuclear popcorn says. <laughs> <laughs>